Sarasota, the city police force has their own team of dogs patrolling the streets. We have all the duties and responsibilities associated with uh, patrolling the streets of Sarasota, uh, always listening and being cognizant of a radio call for assistance or the requirement of canine use. Sergeant Mick McHale is the supervisor for the unit, which is comprised of four teams, including himself and his partner, Nero. About uh, eight and a half years ago now, uh, we, I selected Nero from a breeder in the Miami area as a result of being assigned to the canine unit. Um, when we purchased Nero, he was 11 months old, and uh, he's due to have a birthday. He'll be nine on June the 16th. Well, Sit. he's holding up well, isn't he? Sit. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> he's excited. He knows he's about to play <laughs> yeah. in a little bit. Yeah. By playing, Sergeant McHale is talking about training. With some help from the other officers in the unit, we get to see Nero in action. Ah, 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 boy ah, pocket. Ah, 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 boy pocket. Ah. Come on, Nick. Keep up. Now. What is Nero trained for at this He's point? He's trained to apprehend uh, individuals that commit uh, serious crimes and some misdemeanor crimes. And he also has a specialized training in the detection of seven illegal narcotic odors. So he's, he's pretty... Uh, he's a pretty valuable asset. Yes, he sure agency. is. Sergeant McHale tells us Nero and the other canines are trained when apprehending a suspect to bite one time and hold on. If they are somehow knocked off, they will bite again. And even if you know the command to get them to let go, it won't help. The canine is trained not to listen to anyone else's voice but ours. So even if you knew the word that would prevent him from completing his duties, um, it would really, it would not work in the real life scenario because they're trained exclusively to listen to the handler and the handler alone. We have complete control their aggression is all voice control, and their aggression is controlled by the handler. Serving alongside Sergeant McHale and Nero are Officer Timothy Bain and Sean Gleason, and their dogs, Fader and Hickson. We have the best, most loyal partners you could ask for. They're there for you. Uh, all they want to do is please you, no matter what. While at work, these dogs are ready to go at a moment's notice. But all that changes when they're off the clock. At home, they're just like pets. They're very social. They're, uh, they do everything that any other dog likes to do. Uh, my dog is, is very demanding of being pet at all times. He loves to be pet. That's one of the messages we like to get out is that these dogs, although they're police dogs and they are trained to bite, they're not these highly aggressive creatures that are out here looking to, to hurt people all the time. No, they're just, they're just regular dogs. We take their natural behaviors and, and kind of mold them and fit them into what we need them to do out here as a police officer. Music